Cybertrucks with the integration of Starlink mobility equipment have been captured on the roads. Meanwhile, in a conversation with Jay Leno, details about Tesla's acceleration in semi-truck production have surfaced. Furthermore, a senior executive at Tesla has announced the commencement of production at Tesla's lithium factory, slated for the dawn of 2024. On October 3rd, Jonas Brownie, a notable online user, shared an intriguing image of two Cybertrucks roaming the streets, showcasing some noticeable modifications. Notably, the foremost Cybertruck displays a release candidate insignia on its bumper, complemented by an aesthetically pleasing wrap, perhaps the finest we've observed on a Cybertruck thus far. This wrap is a refreshed rendition of the 2019 Cybertruck graffiti emblem. The vibrant graffiti motif accentuates the truck's appeal without overshadowing its iconic stainless steel chassis, widely recognized as the hallmark of Tesla's avant-garde pickup. However, the most captivating aspect is the apparatus perched above the windshield, a broad, flat device accompanied by a large, flexible antenna. Undoubtedly, this is the Starlink mobility dish. As the nomenclature suggests, Starlink Mobility is an adaptive variant of the original Starlink service, tailored for on-the-go connectivity. Preliminary insights into the Starlink Mobility service are indeed commendable. With download speeds reaching up to 220 megabytes per second and upload speeds at 25 megabytes per second, it rivals typical home internet speeds. Notably, its efficacy isn't restricted to urban regions, it's equally adept in remote areas. Echoing the capabilities of 5G, Starlink Mobility ensures uninterrupted connectivity in transit, negating the need for proximity to cell towers. Picture this. You're a surveyor in the vast countryside, maneuvering an undeveloped terrain with a Starlink-equipped Cybertruck. You gather extensive data on the topography, drainage, and soil makeup. Traditionally, you'd drive back to the office, data in tow. But now, you can instantly relay that information to your team, enabling real-time analysis, all while you're en route to your next assignment. Think of the immense value this brings to remote construction projects, emergency search and rescue operations, or disaster relief base camps. The technology is poised to revolutionize fieldwork. However, premium innovation comes at a premium price. The base Starlink Mobility Package stands at $250 per month. While sufficient for most, those seeking more can opt for the $1,000 or a hefty $5,000 monthly tiers, offering 50 gigabyte, one terabyte, and five terabytes data caps respectively. The cost isn't without its perks. Aside from wilderness connectivity, Starlink Mobility users get network priority ensuring uninterrupted service during peak times. Integrating such a feature into the Cybertruck, designed for rugged terrains and equipped with a robust 48-volt system, seems almost intuitive. While Starlink Mobility wasn't exclusively crafted for the Cybertruck, it's plausible Tesla's accessory team played a role. With the vehicle being heralded as the top choice for off-road and camping enthusiasts, a seamless internet connection amplifies its allure. Yet, the much-anticipated Cybertruck hasn't hit the market. Recent months saw intense testing as Tesla perfects its design and seeks necessary certifications. We anticipate a launch event soon, pending regulatory approval. As we wait, Tesla's relentless pursuit of innovation for its iconic stainless steel truck continues. In a recent episode of Jay Leno's Garage, Tesla's Dan Priestley, the company manager and chief designer Franz von Holhausen, delved deep into the intricacies behind Tesla's new Class 8 tractor. Airing on October 2nd, the episode saw Jay Leno engaging with the two Tesla representatives about the semi's construction, design features, and what sets it apart in the Class 8 market segment. Leno, Priestley, and von Holzen focused on the truck's innovative drivetrain, highlighting its impressive hauling prowess and regenerative braking. This system's capabilities were spotlighted in a run-on-less-electricity transport study, revealing the truck's unique ability to extend battery charge during transit and recover up to 70% of its battery life in under 30 minutes. 
the Trio emphasized the design's commitment to safety, with aerodynamics playing a pivotal role. The dialogue also revealed lesser-known insights. When Lano inquired about the truck's cost, Priestley hinted at competitive pricing compared to diesel counterparts, emphasizing the electric operation's cost-effectiveness. Furthermore, Priestley unveiled Tesla's vision for a long-haul variant, equipped with a sleeper cabin. Contrary to the present day cab design, this variant acknowledges the semi's potential for extended operations. A particular revelation caught the attention of Tesla enthusiasts. On being questioned about the number of semis produced, Priestley revealed figures hovering between 60 and 70, primarily for corporations like Pepsi and Tesla's internal operations. The intriguing part? We're gathering data, receiving invaluable driver feedback and channeling this into refining the semi before large-scale production, stated Priestley. This approach underscores the semi's distinct status within Tesla's lineup. The conversation's crux revolved around Tesla's strategic approach to Wu transport operators. While corporate buy-in, driven by cost savings, might be straightforward, winning over truck drivers requires a more nuanced approach. Von Holzen, addressing this challenge, said, It transcends mere fuel savings. It's about reduced maintenance downtime, assured cost savings irrespective of fluctuating fuel prices, and a promise of a safer, more comfortable driving experience. We are committed to mitigating driver fatigue, a pressing concern in the trucking realm. The essence of the matter is clear. While transport companies might be swayed by the financial allure of fuel savings with a Tesla Semi, the real challenge lies in persuading the drivers themselves. Convincing individuals to adapt to an entirely new kind of vehicle isn't the same as influencing corporate bottom line decisions. Tesla's strategy goes beyond mere cost effectiveness. It's about presenting an enhanced driving experience. In essence, Tesla isn't merely targeting businesses. They're reaching out directly to the drivers. The episode with Jay Leno offered a candid chat between an automotive enthusiast and two Tesla representatives. However, amid the light-hearted banter, there were nuggets of insights worth noting. In related news, a pivotal announcement was made during Tesla's third quarter earnings call. Tesla's lithium factory is set to commence production on January 1st, 2024. Lindsay Cord, a senior manager at Tesla, unveiled this major update. This development is of monumental importance. The factory is slated to be the primary lithium provider for Tesla's fleet. Historically, Tesla has been dependent on a mix of third-party vendors and minor mining operations for its lithium. This new venture signals a move towards complete vertical integration. Owning the production process empowers Tesla to oversee both the quality and volume of its lithium supply and potentially cut costs. This strategic move becomes ever more pertinent in the backdrop of the surging demand for electric vehicles and the intensifying competition for lithium resources. While Cord was reserved about the specifics of the facility, she highlighted its stature as a world-class facility. She also emphasized that environmental sustainability was at the core of the factory's design, incorporating elements like solar energy, water conservation mechanisms, and other eco-friendly technologies. This aligns perfectly with Tesla's broader vision of environmental stewardship.